What, 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 what's up guys, Big Clive 34 coming at you today from Streetcar Takeover Indy. We're catching up today with the fastest, quickest, quickest and fastest, or no, it's just quickest, just fastest. Quickest and fastest <laughs> the stick shift car in the universe. If you guys are into stick shift racing, you need to know about this one. So we're gonna watch it race. We're gonna catch up with them. We're gonna see what it's all about, what makes it special. This thing is really not just a race car, but it's also, uh, it's almost a show car if you'll push it that far. It's so clean, you guys gotta see it. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button down below. Remember to subscribe for more, hit the bell icon. Let's go watch Boost in Performance wheel this talent to the moon and back. So you're absolutely flying out there. <laughs> Appreciate is, uh, that, thank you. What's making the magic happen? 14 years experience with the car. Yeah. Uh, edging up on it, you know, improving a couple tenths every year. Right, what's the what's the best to date? ET wise 704, mile per hour wise 215. What's the combination on the car? It's a billet block 4G63, two liter. Um, it's got a precision uh, 86, 85 turbo. Right. Um, it's got a small shot of nitrous, runs on M5. We tune the car with a Haltec 2500 Elite. That's pretty much it. Is it, uh, is it pretty light? With me in it, it's about 2450. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty light. And it's still a stick shift car? It still is, yep. It's so you're the, in the rowing gears, huh? Yeah, it's the quickest and fastest stick shift car in the world. <laughs> Anything that I wouldn't know by looking at the car? Everything on the car everything. is trick. I mean, everything has got a little touch to it. I mean, there's so many details. I mean, you can look at one little piece of the car and I've got like 15 hours into it. You add up the time that I have in this car over 15 years, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's basically, it's probably more than a full-time job, huh? Uh, I mean, at this point, I've kind of settled down now that I've had a, a kid. Right. So I, I try and not spend as much time with the car. Right. So that's why we haven't had it out since November. Okay. So. Try, um, try to settle down a little bit. Any any stories pop out along the way? Uh, one of my good friends that was here today grilling for us, I bought the car from him. Right. Um, it was his street car. He bought it with like 40,000 miles on it. Sold it to me with 60,000 miles on it. And I actually got T-boned right after I bought it. Oh, man. So. Well, it's made quite the recovery, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got a, a chassis that's certified to 6.0 now. Okay. And, uh, you know, we're having fun with the car. Do you have a power number on it? Um, I mean, with the weight and the mile per hour, you know, 215 mile per hour, probably 16 to 1800, somewhere in there. Last but not least, is there anybody that you'd want to plug on this? Sure, I mean, the, the person that's helped me the most is going to be my wife, Kristen. Okay. She's the one that's made this car possible. You know, back in the early days, she would, uh, she would help me out with, you know, money to modify the car and I'd pay her back. And this is like a long time ago when we were dating, you know, so I would say probably her. She's the one that's made this possible. My wife. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 